All right. In my hand here is a right hand recurve 22 pound bow. All right. This bow is made up of three major parts. Actually, mainly four. We don't call it as a part, but it's four. This here is called the base section. On the base section, you have the grip, which is this piece right here. The window, arrow rest. Okay. Connecting to the base section, we have the upper limb and we have the lower limb, lower limb, sorry. To differentiate the lower limb from the upper limb, the lower limb has the, the poundage written on it and also the brand of the bow as well. This here is the string. The most frequent part of the string is to accommodate the arrow knock, also the two knocking points as well. Okay, right hand, 22 pound recurve bow. This here is the arrow. On every arrow, you have two even color flights and one odd color flight. It's called the cock feather. This piece that you see right here is called our arrow knock. This is where you gotta place onto the string so you can click on between the brass knots. This piece right here is called the aluminum shaft. To the very end of the arrow, we call it the metal tip, the most dangerous part of the arrow. Okay? Holding the arrows and also the bow is called our land quiver. To the back of me, holding on to the target is called our boss. The colored paper that you see there is called the target. Okay? Now we're going to go down to the fundamentals of archery. Archery, simple exercise. Very complicated, but very easy at the same time. Alright, a lot of different little pieces and bits and pieces of it you need to remember. That's the most important thing. In archery, we have two major stands. We have the parallel stance and we have the T stance. The parallel stance is facing the target, which is your left side right here. This is your target, so your body gotta be facing to the right if you're right hander. If you're left hander, your right hand gotta be facing the target and your body gotta be facing to the left. Okay? Your feet gotta be facing to the right for right handers, shoulder width apart. So you give that space between your feet right there. Okay? Now this here is aiming position with your right, your left hand extending out to the target. Okay? Now you simply pick up your bow from the land quiver, placing your, your hand onto the arrow, the um, grip as well. This here is aiming position. When ready to load your arrow onto your bow, simply place your bow sideways, facing to the ground at all times. Okay? So this here is your stance. For beginner's archery, you only use the parallel stance. With the intermediate, you use the T-stance or the parallel stance, whatever, which one is comfortable for you. But you're going to be taught the T-stance in the intermediate session. Okay? When ready to load your bow, you place your bow sideways, facing down to the ground, picking up your arrow from the shaft, making sure that your thumb places the odd color, which is the cock feather, and the index finger and middle finger onto the even color flights. You then place it over the bow onto the arrowrest between the brass knots, making sure that your your cock feather faces to the sky at all times. Upwards. Okay? You then set yourself up in aiming position. Come this way, Jennifer. Alright? Then set yourself up in aiming position. Use three fingers. The three fingers are marked out for you in your gloves. Index to the top. Middle finger to the bottom. And ring finger following and your arrow is in between all of those okay you then set yourself up in aiming position simply give a nice pull so as a firm knuckle to reach to the back of the cheekbone elevating the elbow shutting the left eye sighting down with the right and let go plain and simple like that see how easy it is okay now there is something called after movement after movement is this when pulling back on your release you actually come forward with it and let go or you pull back when you reach that, that, that from knuckle to the back of the cheekbone you end up pulling back again and let go this is called after movement whatever setting that you have there is no longer if you hit the target you can see it's out of luck okay any questions I guess you're all good right all right.